What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with another video. WrestleMania 40 is just now days away, but who will emerge victorious? Join us now as we look at all the winners and losers of this year's Showcase of the Immortals. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. First, let's look at night one. The first match being the Women's World Championship match as champion Rhea Ripley takes on Becky Lynch. And this match is a toss up for the winner, except for Becky Lynch's WWE contract ending in roughly two months. Now we feel that the WWE doesn't want to switch the title until Lynch makes up her mind and putting Ripley over Lynch is a good way to keep fans guessing and building heat for any rematch down the road. Our final prediction, Rhea Ripley retains the Women's World Championship. Next up is the Intercontinental Championship match as champion Gunther takes on Sami Zayn. How is Gunther overdue to drop the Intercontinental Championship? It is long overdue as the WWE missed a huge opportunity to elevate Chad Gable by having the Alpha Academy leader defeat Gunther. While fans probably feel it's best not to make any predictions about Gunther losing, much the same as with Roman Reigns, we feel that the WWE has crafted a compelling underdog story with Sami Zayn, as well as throwing Chad Gable into the mix by helping Zayn train to beat the seemingly unbeatable Gunther. The WWE didn't give its fans the feel-good ending they wanted with Zayn vs Roman Reigns last year, but this could be a good second place prize if handled correctly. Other superstars could benefit from a win over Gunther, but the WWE seems to be more concerned with making Sami supporters happy. Our final prediction, Sami Zayn wins the Intercontinental Championship. Next up is a six-pack ladder match for the Undisputed Tag Team Championships as a judgment day of Finn Balor and Damian Priest, DIY of Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, the awesome truth of Miz and R-Truth, the new day of Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, an A-Town Down Under of Austin Theory and Grayson Waller, and the new Catch Republic of Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. Now, this match took a big twist when Michael Cole announced that the Raw and SmackDown Tag Team Championship belts will be suspended above the ring and that the match won't end until both sets of the belts are retrieved. Cole's comments have led to speculation that this means the tag team titles will be split back up. The possibility can't be denied and it will give both brands more opportunities for tag team title matches. Every team is a potential winner, but we believe that the Awesome Truth will win the Raw Tag Team Championship, while the new Catch Republic will win the SmackDown titles. Next up is Jey Uso vs Jimmy Uso. The fans don't get to see brothers battle each other often in the WWE, but when they do, it usually makes for a fantastic match as both wrestlers want to make their brother look good, giving the fans a classic and now do pass brotherly battles. Add in the inherent drama of a brother vs brother battle and it's easy to see why these are must-see matches. Look for more family drama as Jay and Jimmy Uso's famous father Rikishi shows up trying to make peace but giving the advantage to Jimmy. But despite this unintended advantage, Jay will find a way to defeat his brother Jimmy. Our final prediction, Jay Uso wins the match. Now, some fans think Jay and Jimmy will reunite after this match but this may just be a start of a bigger feud. Next up, the six-woman tag team match is Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill and Naomi take on damage control of Dakota Kai, Asuka and Kairi Sane. The damage control is good, but the collective of Kai, Asuka and Sane won't be enough to stop Bianca, who still wants revenge on damage control for their continued interference in her matches, Cargill who wants to make a name for herself, and Naomi who is eager to show that she is still the superstar she was during her last WWE campaign. Sadly, Asuka will lose another WrestleMania, but at least she and Sane will still be women's tag team champions. Our final prediction, Bianca Belair, Jane Cargill and Naomi win the match. Next up, the Latino world order of Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee vs Santos Escobar and Dirty Dom Mysterio. While the Dominic Santos alliance seems to have come from right field, it's another example of how the WWE draws upon subplots such as Dominic's disdain for his dad to create instant matches. Dominic's budding friendship with Legado del Fantasma also plays off the Judgment Day's increasing dissension and Dirty Dom's opportunism. Expect plenty of interference from the LWO and Legado del Fantasma as well as a heel turn by LWO's Carlito, leading to the heels getting the win and setting up a rematch, possibly leading to a much rumored mass versus hair match. Our final prediction, Santos Escobar and Dirty Dom win the match. Next up, the stipulation match as Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins take on The Rock and Roman Reigns. But this match is all about high stakes as it gets, short of a title or a career being on the line. If Cody and Seth win, the bloodline will be barred from Roman's title defense on Sunday. However, if Roman and The Rock win, it's a bloodline rules match which means that anything goes. 
Although the WWE hasn't said how the Bloodline will be barred should Cody win, for example, would Roman forfeit the title if a Bloodline member interferes, many fans feel it's a foregone conclusion that Cody and Seth will lose, thus creating an impossible situation for Cody. But we agree and feel that the only question is how Cody and Seth lose. As bizarre as it may seem, we sense Seth will cost Cody the match, getting payback for Cody beating him for three PLEs in a row and getting a second shot at Roman, a rematch Rollins has been clamoring for since the 2022 Royal Rumble. Our final prediction, Roman Reigns and The Rock win the match. But that was night one, what about night two, as world heavyweight champion Seth Rollins takes on Drew McIntyre. As Seth Rollins can take pride in the outstanding job he's done establishing the world heavyweight championship as the WWE's true world championship. Rollins has been a workhorse and hasn't missed a beat despite nagging injuries and his recent MCL and meniscus tear. However, it's time for a change, and for Rollins to deal with his injuries and Drew McIntyre fits the bill as a good successor. McIntyre has revolutionized his act over the last few months and not only deserves another run as world champion, he has all the qualities to make a solid heel champion. This is such an evenly matched contest that the WWE will surely introduce an X-Factor, in this case, interference from CM Punk. Whether Punk intentionally cost Seth the match or it's inadvertent, count on Seth losing due to Punk, which will only add to the heat when Punk returns from injury. Our final prediction, Drew McIntyre wins the World Heavyweight Championship. However, it won't be over at that point, as here comes Damien Priest to cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase. Yeah, finally. Could this be Damien Priest's chance to actually win a world title in the WWE? We suggest not, and this might actually be a failed cash-in. Next up is the WWE's Women's Championship match as champion Io Sky takes on Bayley. Io Sky has been a dynamite champion. While Rhea Ripley has been praised for a run on Raw, Sky has been much more of a fighting champion, largely because the WWE has been saving Ripley vs Lynch for WrestleMania and hasn't presented many credible challenges for the Eradicator. The story of Io and the rest of Damage Control betraying the group's founder has been good, despite Bayley overplaying it as a victim, and this match should be fantastic. Bailey has generously stayed out of the limelight. She's used her star power to build up Io Sky and Dakota Kai. However, it's her turn for a run in the spotlight, and this match will hopefully get the time it deserves as Bailey fights off outside interference and Io's tremendous skills to win the championship. Our final prediction: Bailey becomes the women's world champion. Next up, LA Knight versus AJ Styles. What started as a throwaway feud has turned into a sizzling showdown. Both wrestlers have worked hard to make this program work, and while Knight, not to mention Styles fans, would like to see their respective favorites wrestling for championship gold, Knight and Styles are committed to making the best of this program. Knight has roasted Styles on the mic, but come Sunday, it's all about wrestling, and the fans will get a chance to see how Knight works against one of wrestling's best technicians and aerial performers. It won't be an easy win, but count on LA Knight winning and this feud continuing into backlash, as it's good to end after one PLE. Our final prediction, LA Knight wins the match. Next up is a triple threat for the United States Championship as champion Logan Paul takes on Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. Now, this will be a classic as two veterans clash with a younger superstar who wrestles like he's been working for many years. Expect the usual number of sick bumps the Maverick has become famous for, as well as the shenanigans always at play with a pull match, including outside interference and foreign objects. However, we feel that it's finally time for Kevin Owens to regain the United States Championship. Our final prediction, Kevin Owens wins the United States Championship. But how will the Viper react to KO winning? The WWE has shown some close calls between Orton and Owens during their battles with Paul where they've almost laid out each other. Given the competitiveness of both men and this being a triple threat match, Orton may not be in a good mood afterward and fans could see a heel turn or the beginning of one. Although Orton has finally mastered the art of playing a babyface, he still excels as a heel and both Raw and SmackDown could benefit from a heel Orton. Next up, the Philadelphia street fight of Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits taking on the Final Testament. Now, this match is long overdue as the Final Testament has spent the last two months beating down Bobby Lashley and all the Street Profits on a weekly basis. Or at least it seems that way. As we mentioned in our rumors video, Bobby Lashley seems to be getting frustrated with the Final Testament's string of successful attacks on him and the Profits. Lashley's recent statement, it's time to bring back the old Bobby Lashley, has us thinking that MVP could show up to lend his expertise. There's also the question of how the Almighty will react if he and the Prophets come up short. Lashley is known for getting rid of what he considers dead weight, however, it's too early to pull the plug on the Lashley and Prophets alliance, so expect the trio to get the win over Cross and company. Whether this ends their feud is the ultimate question, and unless the WWE finds an entertaining way to continue it, the promotion should wrap things up on night two, as our final prediction, Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits win the match. And now finally, it's time for the main event. 
the undisputed WWE Universal Championship match as champion Roman Reigns takes on Cody Rhodes. A Cody Rhodes quest to finish his story has to end Sunday night whether he loses or finally defeats Roman Reigns for the undisputed championship. While Roman's loss has been long overdue, the American Nightmare can't keep losing and trying again the next year. It's redundant and it could lead to a major fan backlash. However, we're confident that Cody will win and even though the WWE will make this a bloodline rule stipulation and keep fans guessing how Rhodes will beat the odds, look for Cody to get help from John Cena, Steve Austin and or Hulk Hogan who could offset outside interference, allowing Rhodes to finally defeat Roman and finish the story. Although it makes better sense for active wrestlers who have suffered at the bloodline's hands to help Cody out, such as Kevin Owens and Randy Orton, this is WrestleMania and the WWE wants to capitalize on appearances from some of its biggest names, adding to the fact that that Cena does have history with the bloodline, so it makes perfect sense. But our final prediction, Cody Rhodes wins the Undisputed Championship as WrestleMania 40 comes to a close. But there you have it folks, our picks for Night 1 and Night 2. What are your guys' picks? Let us know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.